What's up, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the social media. This is Hassan Shabazz. I'm a health and wellness coach, well as a fitness coach. Coming, coming to you today with a video dealing with one of our favorite topics is how to eat to live or eat to live workout. For those of you who uh, have stopped by the channel for the first time, we encourage you to stay, look around, check some of the earlier videos out, and subscribe to the channel. Like the video and share the video. Make a comment. We produce very informative information concerning health, your physical health, the food that you should eat to get out to become healthy or maintain optimal health. Videos on how to work out, why you should work out, etc. Also videos on developing the mind. We do a lot of self-help, self-development. Developing the mind. Thinking properly. Because you're not thinking properly, everything else is not going to fall in place. You have to think right to be right. Also we deal with spiritual development, not from a re particular religious point of view, but just for just from a point of view of having your soul at peace, at in comfort, being in touch with the creation, with nature. So you need to be physically fit, mentally, mentally fit, and spiritually, spiritually fit. If you're depressed, then you're not spiritually fit. Your, your emotions need to be in line with nature. And God wants us, no matter how, however you see God, God wants us to be successful, wants us to be prosperous. So, we're glad you stopped by. Hope you'll stay a while. We'll go, our topic, as we said in the beginning, is eat to live, work out. And dealing with food, we encourage you to eat clean. We don't encourage a, a specific diet because there's no one diet that works for everybody. We believe in bio-individuality, meaning that everybody's biological makeup is different. So a diet that works for one person will not work for another person. So you have to experiment and find out what's best for you. But there, there are certain core principles that work for everybody. One of those is eating clean. Trying to avoid food that is processed. Avoid processed food, avoiding tap water, because tap water has a lot of chemicals in it, a lot of uh, things that are not good for the body. Also, one another core principle of being healthy is to get out. Walk, move around, get fresh air, get vitamin D, nitro vitamin D. It's all right to take the supplement, but also you need to get that nitro vitamin D. So when we deal with the first level of eating healthy, eating right, we want to always at every meal try to incorporate carbs, good carbs. We want complex carbohydrates. And you want to monitor your carbs, but you don't, you don't want too, too much or too many complex carbs. You want to keep your carbohydrates around 40 to 50 grams in the morning. And you want to spread your carbohydrate intake out during the, during the day. So you don't want too many carbohydrates at one time. You don't want simple carbohydrates or simple carb carbohydrates cause this rush called sugar to get into your bloodstream too fast. So you don't want that. So you want to spread your carb your carb out during the day. And try to I, I would suggest you try to stay around 40 to 50 grams of carb in the morning. About 40 to 50 grams at lunchtime and about 40 to 50 grams at your last meal. Supper, or whatever you want to call something for a So try to monitor your carb. You don't have to be a strict carb counter, but 
no one, no how many carbs that you're putting into your body on a daily basis. And make sure those carbs are complex carbohydrates. That is fruits, certain vegetables. And when we say fruit, we're not talking about dried fruit. We're talking about the real fruit that you get from the tree or get from the, from the vine. When you eat, you want to eat grapes, it doesn't bring a whole lot of grape juice. Sorry, right, great. Drink grape juice every once in a while or drink orange juice. But it's better to eat the orange. It's better to eat the actual grape. Eat the apple. And try to eat apples that are organic. Apples that have been grown organically. Meaning they've been grown free of pesticide. So you want to eat organic apples. If you can't, if you can't get organic apples, eat apples. Eat oranges. Eat the, eat the best you can get. Eat clean means try to get the best source of an item that you can get. And so if you're not able to get organic, you still want to eat apples, oranges, pineapples, etc. You still want to eat fruit. So watch your carb intake, but make sure you have carbs at every meal. Spread your carbohydrates out during the day. If you need a snack, eat snack on nuts, snack on um, raisins, snack on prunes, snack on a half a banana or a banana. But so try to avoid snacking on sugar, sugary uh, products. Try to avoid snacking on cakes and candy try to snack on stuff that is a complex carb if you want to snack on a carb if not you can snack on protein piece of cheese etc so cheese is a protein it's not a carb but try to make sure that if you can you are when you stack on that cheese, try to have grass-fed um, cheese that came from grass-fed cows, milk that came from grass-fed cows, or etc. Or organic milk made from or organic sources, if you can. So, carbohydrates every meal, protein. Very important to have protein in every meal. And your protein sources should be grass-fed beef, wild-caught fish, free-range chicken. Lamb that is grass fed. Goats that are grass fed. Because they provide the best source of omega 3s. They provide more omega 3s than their counterparts that were not, that are not grass fed. In fact, Dr. Bird, in an article on his YouTube page, and I'm going to quote it, he states, Omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to help prevent cancer. Grass-fed beef, wild-caught fish, and free-range chicken are all very high in omega-3 fats and, and contain four more omega-3 than their grain-fed, farm-raised, and cage counterparts. So omega three, you, omega three is, is 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 good fats. So you want to have good fats. Tie back into what we said about the carbs. You want complex carbohydrates. You want protein, and you want fat. Fats at every meal. The free range chicken gives you fats. It's also the main is a main source of protein. Beef. The main source for protein. And if they're grass fed, if the beef is grass fed, then you have a, it also will help you with your omega 3 because they have a high source of, of, of omega 3. The same is true with the wild caught fish. The same is true with the free range chicken. 
they are all very high in omega-3 fats. So omega-3 fats is good. We want to avoid omega-6 fats. We want to avoid trans fats. But you need fats when you want omega-3 fats. Avocados are a good source of omega-3 fats. If you eat avocado at least once a day. Now, so you want to have a combination, you want to have carbs, you want to have protein, fats at every meal if possible. And you want to come from the best possible source. And you want to drink 68 glasses of water daily. You want to keep yourself hydrated. And you want to work out 60 minutes a day. You want to have 60 minutes of constant movement, whether it's walking, whether that's at the gym. Try to work out daily. So with that, we're going to leave you and hope that you will take your health in your own hands. It's good to go to the doctor. Listen to what the doctor tell you, but you are, you are responsible for your health. The doctor will only advise you and give you recommendations, he'll give you medicine, etc. But there are certain things you can do to limit your need for medicine. And one of those is to try to eat healthy. Eat healthy. Try to work out daily. Drink enough water. Stay away from soda pops. Stay away from sweet uh, juices, etc. Take good care of your health. Reclaim your health. Until next time, we're going to leave you. Know that what you think about becomes reality. As a man thinketh, so is he. So, hope you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Share the video. Make a comment. And we'll see you on the next video. We're out. Peace.